City of Frederick. My name is Callie Say, and I'm here at TransWest in Horse Trailer Sales. So for those of you that aren't familiar with us, we sell new and used trailers. Our new trailers that we carry are our Logan and our Cimarron brand. So our Logan really hits a great spot for us in the mid-price range trailers. They have some really economical options while still offering a really great product. So the one I have right behind me is actually one that we just got in the other day. It's a brand new 2022 two horse bumper pull Logan Bullseye. So their Bullseye model is a step above their Crossfire, but a step below their Riots. So their Riot models, you kind of have free reign to do whatever the engineers decide is okay. So if you're looking for a completely custom built trailer, if you need extra tall, extra wide, slant load, bigger stalls, um, deck to the nines, like that is gonna be your Riot model. But if you have pretty standard size horses and you want some really great upgrades, without paying the price of custom, these bullseye options are a really, really great uh, thing to look at. So let's go ahead and start up here at the front. So I've got my little power pack there. That's so when you're plugged into your vehicle, this kind of simulates a vehicle, um, you'll have all your running lights, your exterior lights, your stall lights, your interior lights, all of those are gonna be LED. So they'll put off a lot of light without having a huge power drop. Simple hand crank here. If you do want to upgrade to an electric jack, that's something we've done through our shop here. So just because it's got a single leg jack that you crank now doesn't mean it can't be upgraded. These trailers take a two and five sixteenths ball and depending on your truck height, you might need a drop, you might not. What you'll notice here is you've got this nice diamond plating up front, this beautiful silver skin. So this is a silver metallic skin. You actually have eight different color options for your bullseye trailers. So if you don't want to stick with standard white or silver, uh, we've got lots of other options that are available. Most of them don't even have a color upcharge. So just because you want something a little different doesn't mean you're going to pay for it. It's one of the reasons I like these bullseyes. Right below it, uh, you will see this black lining that we've got here. These Logans are a galvanized steel frame with aluminum sheeting. So the galvanized steel is not like black steel. It's actually infused with zinc during the creation process. So it makes it lighter, it makes it stronger, and it makes it more corrosion resistant. Logan actually offers a lifetime limited warranty against any structural corrosion for the first owner because they don't think that's ever gonna be an issue. So just because you hear steel in the name, it's not like black steel, it's galvanized steel. Um, kind of kind of gives a bad, bad rap, but you get a lot of structural strength without having to worry about those rust issues. Got your safety chains, uh, your breakaway cable there. So pretty standard setup up front, but this vortex lining and this diamond plate below, it's gonna keep your trailer a lot, looking a lot nicer for a lot longer to come. So this is where you get the majority of your road blast here rocks and everything flying up, especially down gravel roads. So we want to protect that part of our trailer um, and it's just a little more heavy duty than that 050 aluminum skin. All right, so as we walk into our tack room here, it's pretty standard for your, uh, your tack rooms on your bullseye trailers. You've got the swing out saddle rack. This is a two horse, so you have two tiers that come standard. If you want to add additional ones, You've got the ability to add two more here onto this post. We try and keep some of these in stock, but if you know you want to have these, it's really easy for us to just get some extras thrown on a trailer for you. This does swing in and out. So this is how it will travel as you go down the road. You have a gas shock up above to kind of keep it nice and secure in place while still allowing it to be able to swing out. These brush boxes are standard here. Uh, it's got a little piece of carpet in here just so that things don't slide around quite as much. Some things that you can upgrade on these tack rooms for these bullseyes is you can change to a rubber mat in the tack room if you want. We upgraded and added a 35 gallon corner water tank there. You're going to have a standard four tier blanket bar um, that swings in and out. And then you're going to have your standard spare tire in there as well. If you want, we have a removable boot box that we can put in there. We can add more bridle hooks. Um, so there's some things you can add on this trailer 
that makes it really customizable without going over the top. If this is not quite enough storage for you, you can also do a folding rear tack on these bullseye models. So you do have quite a few options here. Back there, you've got those 12 bridle hooks that are standard. They've got carpeting behind, so you don't have to worry about your poor animals having to listen to your bits swing back and forth. It's gonna really mute and kind of deaden the noise a little bit. And then right here, this wall that you share with your horses, um, it is vortex lined, so it'll look a lot nicer for a long time to come. So as we work our way back here, you've got corrugated side sheets on the lower portion here, which really dresses it up, gives it a nice look. Down below, your axles, um, your tires right here, your wheels are steel wheels. You can upgrade to aluminum wheels. We've done black and silver aluminum wheels. On this particular model, we decided to keep it, keep the price point a little lower. We decided to keep it with the steel wheels, but we do carry other two horse bumper pulls here now that do have aluminum wheels. So if that's a make or break for you, just ask kind of what our other inventory is. I know we tried to get a lot in before the end of the year push, because I know a lot of people need to buy those trailers before the year is up. So check in with our inventory. If this one's close, but not quite, we might have others available that you're looking for. Right up above, you've got your little LED light. That little pedestal light is adjustable. So if you need to turn it to get a little bit different angle, that's something that's pretty easy to do. Once again, it's LED, it's gonna put off a lot of light without having a huge power draw for you. Up above, you've got big bus windows on the hip side, drops on the head side. If you want, on these bullseye models, you can go in and add air gaps instead to the head and the hip side. So if you're a bigger fan of having the air gaps, um, that's something that can easily be accomplished. So back here we get into our stall area. Once again, you've got another load light on the hip side. 50-50 doors, they open nice and wide. If you need to load in a horse, that's maybe a little bit more nervous. We've got hold backs on each door that come standard, so you don't have to worry about Wyoming wind coming up and taking your, taking your doors out from your hands if you're trying to load a horse. We've got a weather strip here on this passenger side. And that's gonna help keep a lot of the dust out that swirls around at the back of your trailer if you're driving on uh, dirt roads. On this particular trailer, we kept it standard with the Douglas fir wood underneath. And it is lined in that vortex coating like you saw on the nose there. And what that does is it helps protect those floorboards uh, from the urine or weather so that they do last quite a bit longer. If you like Logan's fancier floor, it's the Whizproof with the Sure Grip. Good news is you can upgrade that to that on these bullseye models. So it's a little more expensive, obviously, but it, you don't have to worry about pulling mats. Most people don't use shavings on them. So that is an option on these bullseyes if you're looking for it. On this trailer, this divider right here will actually telescope over. So if you need to uh, use this trailer as more of a box stall, or if you're hauling at something other than horses and you want to just clip this back, it is very easy to do. This piece just slides right here. And then you've got a little clip here that will hold it back. What that allows you to do, it allows you to hold or close this door without having to remove the divider. So if you needed to take the divider completely out, that's always an option, but it's not something that's necessary on this trailer for most instances. On this trailer, you do have two roof vents. They go either direction, so if you need to uh, change your airflow, so suck air in, suck air out, um, you can pop it either direction. Between the big drop-down windows, the bus windows, the roof vents, you can open this trailer up and get a lot of air moving through here. So this is a standard height trailer. So you're six, nine wide, you are seven feet tall, if you need to get into those bigger trailers, like I said, uh, we either can get them in on trade, you can upgrade to the Riot model, or go with a warm blood bullseye model, which is a warm blood straight load, or we can always carry, spec you out something in our Cimarron trailers. All right, so some other options that you can add on to your stall area. 
You can always do more tie rings. You can do a full width rear ramp that is a spring assist, so they're really easy to get up and down. They can even color match it, especially if you do it during the build process. It's really easy for them to color match that ramp so that you don't have a white ramp on a silver trailer. Um, and then, like I said earlier, you can always do the aluminum wheels. But once again, another load light or another on it, pedestal light right up there. It's LED, throwing off lots of light this way. I've got these kind of staged here so you can see the different options. Um, if you have horses that you want to throw feed in a feed bag for, it's really easy for you to open these all the way up, throw feed out, um, maybe put a, put a lead or something on your horse. These are very easy to operate. You've got the jail bars with the screen there so that you don't have to worry about rocks and everything flying into your horse's face. You've got the additional bus window on the drop down so if you don't want quite as much air going through there you have the option to just open that little piece and what i really like about these bullseyes is how easy they are to open this piece here just pulls straight down and it releases that latch so that you can easily get in and out of this drop down so like i said these bullseyes have been a huge seller for us um, weight wise they come in right around 2,650 pounds empty give or take depending on what options you add to the trailer so they're really capable to be pulled by a lot of the uh, half tons and, and smaller vehicles while still being really really safe for your horses so if you're looking for a two or a three in a bullseye model we did just get a bunch in before the end of the year you can always give me a call my number is Callie Say my phone number is 970-309-6368. If you like this trailer in particular, you can reference this stock number, 5N211-850. Otherwise, we can kind of check what we've got on order, what we've got coming in here soon, and what we've got here on the lot. So I hope everybody has a really, really great day. Thanks for tuning in.